Morning folks, Kevin, the word in vapour, here yet again. Now, I'm not going to be doing a review this morning. I'm going to be talking about this little artefact. <laughs> it's the, uh, the Kanga drip box. And this is my catch up with it and my final thoughts on it. I'm expecting this to go on for a little while, but I'll try and keep everything as brief as I can. Take a look at this. I'll be back with you in a sec. Hang about, my dears. Won't keep you but a minute. I'm putting my singing there on, you see. I can't sing without my singing there on, can I? <laughs> Have it. Off we go. Right, one of the questions that I get asked, or I've been asked, actually, is what the hell does squonk mean? Well, I didn't know. So, I did the usual thing. Went on to Google, did a search, and apparently a squonk is a mythical creature. Who knew? <laughs> the earliest known written account of squonks comes from a book by William T. Cox called Fearsome Creatures of the Lumber Woods, published circa 1910. Okay, so I promised to come back with this and give you the skinny on it and well, at least my experiences with the device. Overall, I like the little thing. I really do. It's, it's compact. It does exactly what it says on the tin. Exactly. I will admit, though, when I opened that box up, when I was doing the review, and I looked at it, and I thought to myself, yeah, that looks dreadful. It looks really cheap yeah okay the price of it is cheap anyway to me it looked i don't know the word for it it's really it really really did look cheap i mean it is it's made of aluminium or aluminum for our american cousins out there it may look cheap it may be a cheap end mod but it doesn't act like it no nope. i would use this thing every day of the week and twice on sundays uh -huh. I'm not kidding about that. I think this is a brilliant little thing. Let me have a two. Oh, absolutely wonderful. As you can see, I made up about five days before I opened this some um, mint humbug. And I've used nothing else in this but the mint humbug. And as you can see, the full 30 mil bottle is virtually empty, so I'm going to have to get some more, uh, make some more. <laughs> Let's start at the top and work our way down to the bottom of the, uh, the mod, shall we? This thing, the chuff cap or the drip tip or whatever you want to call it, I hate it. I think it is stupid. It, it, it really is. They could have made a cap with the airflow that sat on the thing so that you could turn it with the 510 but they could have given you a 510 drip tip with it, even if it was a chuff. When I opened the box up, realised that this was plastic. I, I think I actually said in the video, this thing's going to melt. It's possible it's going to melt. Well, it hasn't. But believe me, this tube on this RDA, it does get very hot. But I haven't had any problems with this drip tip whatsoever. Which is, well, it's quite amazing, really. So I'll put that back on there properly. Yeah, one thing I have noticed about this, though, the airflow slots, they are incredibly... I mean, it's very easy to to, uh, to turn this up and turn it down. Very easy, even to turn it off. It is a very airy drawer. So airy, I have to have it on at least halfway. Otherwise, it's just too much for me going back to this actual chuff cap itself when okay again when i took it out of the box i noticed that there were little burrs of plastic on the inside of this drip tip and a little bit around the outside of the drip tip well that's no wasn't really any problem for me because all i did was after the review i took the drip tip off got a piece of uh, wet and dry paper and uh, just very lightly 
sanded that away. I've had no problems with it since. No sharp bits catching my lips, anything like that at all. So yeah, I mean, there's one fix if you get something like that. Just wet and dry paper, just gently wipe those burrs away. It's not really noticeable either, although there are obviously scars on there. I mean, you can't see that on, on, on the camera. I've mentioned the airflow, so I'm reading off my notes I've accumulated during this last week or so. In some respects, that airflow isn't really anything to write home about. Yes, it is very airy, but it's not spectacular. If you know, Do you know what I mean? It's not a spectacular airflow. I mean, I would prefer something like the, uh, the Thurum, where the airflow comes... Well, it comes from all over. It's, you know, incredibly airy, that one. But it delivers the flavour. I've noticed with this one, if you have that airflow wide open, even though it's too much for me, if I have it open wide, I don't get as much flavour from the juice. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. The sleeve in the deck, as I said before, the sleeve itself is actually aluminium. Let me take that sleeve off of there a sec. There you go take that off it is actually aluminium it's uh i don't know what the paint job is on there but uh, uh it is definitely aluminium or aluminium again for our american cousins i actually like the color of this i really do anyway the deck i haven't had any problems with the squonk part of this whatsoever there you go she's nicely wet again now pop that back on yeah no this deck what was i saying this deck the de the deck is actually a delight to build on or it's a delight to work with after about three days of continuous vape with this i pulled the cotton out very carefully because there's spaced coils in there oh it needs to be done again actually but i'm not going to do it at the moment but anyway I pulled it out and I put some uh, cotton bacon in there. Really, really nice stuff. I haven't had any problems with the uh, with the re-wicking, etc. I did my usual thorough job of cleaning the RDA down, uh, making sure that the cores were clean. I pre-burned them and then dipped them in water. Well, take a look at one of my other videos and you'll see how I do that. Yeah, as I said, I, ch I decided to change the cotton even though the cotton really didn't need changing, it's one of these things that I've got that I think to myself, oh, I think it's about time. I didn't particularly like that Japanese cotton that they had in there. That's me, you know. I haven't rebuilt the wire yet. That I will do at some point, but I think, in fact, I'm, sh I'm sure that I can get a few more weeks, possibly even another month or so, out of those coils. It really depends on how I treat it. Like, you know, anyway, let's put that back on. Give this another toot. Yeah. Right, the battery case and the bottle. As I said in the initial review, the strength coupled with the airflow makes this thing a right little beast. Um, I have noticed after a few good pulls the battery does die down enough so that I can enjoy the vape that I actually get from this. 60 watts, straight up power, is too much for me. But once that battery starts dying down, it's fine. I can work with it. It's great. The bottle itself holds 7 mil of juice. I mean, I need to fill that up again. Well, Give me two or three hours and I'll probably have to fill that up again. One thing that actually does piss me off about this battery case it's not where the battery is i think that that um adjustment pin that they've got in there is the right thing it's the right way to go with this type of mod as i said earlier on it's harping back to the early mac mods that type of thing where you did up the battery case and then tightened up your your battery so that so you didn't get any rattle well that's exactly what they've done here and i applaud them for that i really do what actually does piss me off is that thing yeah the bottle cover and i'll tell you for why when i 
go to fill this up, I forget that the damn thing's on there, and pull the bottle down until it falls off. Stupid, stupid idea. They would have been much better taking away those protuberances on the bottom there, or one of them, making this slightly thicker and doing a like a slide door on it. Or, if they couldn't have done that, lengthen the, 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 the mod just slightly and put a screw cap in there. This thing is going to get lost. It will get lost eventually. That I'm almost certain of, at least with me. Another thing that, uh, that cheeses me off about it is those damn magnets. You take that battery cap off of there and when you go to put it back on with a fresh battery, you can feel those magnets pulling at the uh, at the battery cap. Now I don't the battery cap. I think that's stainless steel actually. That battery cap. You can actually feel it pulling, and it. Yeah, no. I mean, they're not strong enough to grab hold of it, but you can actually feel it. And that cheeses me off. <laughs> I would never ever recharge the unit via the USB port. I would much rather take the battery out, put it in my charger and get another battery and put it back, switch it out straight away. This thing hasn't got much protection on it. Yeah, you've got a minimum tote count, I believe of 15 seconds, roughly. So it's a rudimentary. That's about all the protection you've got there. Although it has got a reverse battery protection in a way. If you put your battery in upside down, it's not going to fire. And I did. I tried that. I thought, well, why not? We'll go for it. And I tried that and uh, no, it wouldn't fire. So it has got that sort of protection there. That's good. I like in In some respects, I like that. It's not a very intelligent little mod. You've got no screen on it. Power is being drawn directly from the battery. Therefore, you've got no regulation there whatsoever, really. Um, the only protection, as I said, is the minimum tote count of about 15 seconds. Vape quality. The vape from this device actually surprised me. Yes, it's strong, it's airy to start with. I've not had any dry hits with it. Uh, that RDA is fabulous. The squonk part of this unit is absolutely fabulous. If you detect, and you can detect when your cotton is getting dry, pull your cap off and just push that, push that bottle on and hold it there for a few seconds until your cotton starts getting wet again. That's good. I mean, I can get a good, what, 10 or 12 pulls out of this thing before I actually have to re-wet re, uh, re the wicks or re-squonk, as they say. That's uh, all right. I've got some juice over the thing. Always keep a tissue in your pocket, especially with RDAs. Always keep a tissue because there's nothing worse than getting juice on your, on your mod and then you're, you're transferring it everywhere and... It make well. It makes your mod look tacky, and I can feel tacky. And recommendations: this is not an ideal device for a newbie, somebody that's just come off cigarettes and want to try something a bit better than cigalites or egos or evods or whatever. I would suggest that they run away from this device. Stay. Far, far away from it until they get some sort of an experience under their belts. I've got a review coming up shortly for the Cuboid Mini. Yes, I managed to get hold of one and with the tank. <laughs> this would make an ideal beginner's e-cigarette. For those transitioning from egos, it would, in my opinion hands down start with something like this or even the e-leaf pico start with something like that 
it's regulated. You've got all sorts of protection on there. You can adjust your watts and all that lot. This is for the more experienced vapour. I would class it as a mech, actually. Although, strictly speaking, it's not. But I would class it as a mech. The reason it's not for me is because you've got that USB port on the side there. It's also got a minimum tote count. Yeah? That's why I would say it's not really a mech. One day last week, I decided, rather I would let it do its, its natural thing, let the power run out on the battery. Yeah? Instead of me detecting it and changing the battery out straight away. What I decided was, I'll see what it does. And underneath the fire button there, the light actually flashes about five or six times. Yeah, it's a white light. So you also get that white light when you fire it. Talking about firing it. Yeah, I've got no meters or anything like that that I can tell you about what faults is specifically going through this device. I suggest that when he makes one, Phil Posado, he's excellent at that type of thing. Go and take a look at one of his vids. I don't know whether he's actually done this one or not, but chances are he will do, or he will do the next evolution of this, which the new evolution is coming out shortly. And hopefully I'm going to be able to get one. Ha ha ha! Yeah, as I said just now, this this would be good for those vapors that have uh, have got more experience under their belt. They know what they're doing with coiling, or they're learning to coil. They want to get into squonking because they they're probably like me. They get really frustrated and to stop every few puffs, take off the top, and re-drip. That bottle totally eliminates that for me, hence the reason I love this little thing. In fact, I might, I, although I'm looking forward to the next evolution of this, I will probably be going to get another one of these. I'll tell you what, though, if anybody out there wants to uh, experience squonk on the cheap, this is definitely the way to go. I mean, I can't afford 200 quid for a, a, a squonk mod and all that lot. So this, for me, is just about the right way to go. Oh. Paintwork. Let me quickly talk about the paintwork. Now, again, one day last week, I just grabbed this off the side. I grabbed whatever other mods that I'd got. And I dumped this one into my, uh, into my bag. And I hadn't realised that my keys were actually in the bag as well. And I thought, when I did realise, I thought, oh no, I'm going to have a scratched up mod. Well, I didn't. There is not one mark on this. It's exactly like it was when I took it out of the box. Yeah, all right, it's a little bit greasy from my fingers um, and the e-juice, you know, sort of thing. But there's absolutely no no key marks or scratches or anything like like that on this uh on this thing oh, man, so i'm totally chuffed with that i really am although i can see in i don't know a few months or so that this thing will get scratched I'm not sure what type of coating that they've got on this. I think it might well be a powder coat, actually. And then covered over with like a pure polyurethane type thing. It is very, it's very, very smooth to the touch. Very smooth to the feel. I'm putting this one to bed. If I get the new evolution, or when I get the new evolution of this, I will do another video for it. And say in about five or six months... If I feel it necessary, I'll come back and I'll, on one of my videos in the future, I'll come back and I'll show you the state of the body, the state of the tank. Oh, that's another thing, the tank. Thank you. I'm glad I remembered that. <laughs> I was watching some geezer's video after I'd done my 
you know, uh, initial first look and review on it. I was looking at some geezer's video and he mentioned the velocity. And I thought to myself, I've got a velocity. I picked one up a few weeks ago because I had one years ago and I lost the bloody thing along with my Nemesis clone. And I was so annoyed about it because I got some great vapour from it. I really did. Well, anyway, here it is. If I can get it off of here, that is. There it is, there. It's the uh, the Velocity version 2. And in the case that came with this, let me put that back on the RX. Came, they give you silica with it. Oh, uh, no, not that. There we go. Right. Let me just pull this out of here and show you. Because this might be a good way for some people to go. I tried this and didn't particularly like it. But you can put that Velocity on this drip box because in the in the kit that the velocity came with you get a squonk pen yeah so yeah I mean I tried it it was all right the vape was okay it wasn't uh, anything to write home about but it to me it looked odd sitting on top of it this is the uh, hanger tech drip box or squonker they're only about 30 odd quid if you want to experience squonking or dripping on a very, very easy level, go and get one. This is Kevin from Whirling Vapor, wishing you all a bright and pleasant day. Thank you so much to all you guys for listening to my warblings on. I know I do go on, as this video proves. <laughs> what was I going to say? I was, I've even put myself off. There you go. Anyway, look, you take care. Stay safe. Have a nice day. It's really nice out there at the moment. Have a nice day. And, uh, well, I'll catch you on the next one. Vape on, guys. Cheers for now. Let's turk you out. You can't please all the people all the time. But we hope we'll please most of you most of the time. Anyway, see you soon.